This is Port Essington on the northern coast of Australia. Stunning white cliffs, beautiful native flora and colonial ruins. Almost 180 years ago, more than two decades before Darwin was founded, this is what Port Essington looked like. It was settled in 1838 by Captain James Gordon Bremer and called Victoria Settlement after the newly crowned Queen in England. The settlement carried the first wave of countless British dreams of developing Australia's north. The political class in Sydney hoped it would be a new Singapore, a thriving emporium destined to become the capital of northern Australia. But the place the colonialists would dub World's End had its own suffocating rhythms. The air thick and heavy, the sea warm to touch, the mangroves putrid and impenetrable, the heat oppressive, the mosquitoes and white ants voracious. Crocodiles devoured dogs and tugged at men's blankets as they slept in their hammocks. They were always under attack. Relations with the local indigenous people were different from almost everywhere else in Australia. Because the British made no attempt to settle the inland, Aboriginal people were largely free from the threat of losing their land. Just one year into the settlement, a perfect hurricane all but wiped it out, bringing down trees and houses, destroying the jetty and driving the naval sloop HMS Pelorus into nine feet of mud on shore. Only the officer's mess and the hospital survived unscathed. But the story of the 11 year long struggle to establish Victoria settlement is much more than an ill conceived venture plagued by environmental disasters that was never given sufficient backing by the Imperial government. It deserves to be remembered as a failed founding moment in Australia's historical imagination. I'm Mark McKenna and you can find out more in my new book, From the Edge. <laughs>